Hi, it's Caitlin, and I'm so excited to be sharing some new polishes from Cracked Polish. This is the makeup collection, and it includes absolutely gorgeous creams. I'm obsessed with the Cracked Polish cream formula. If you didn't see my April Fool's video, I shared their new black cream and white cream, which are incredible. And surprise, surprise, these creams are literally amazing. These will be available on the Cracked Polish website on April 19th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you haven't already used it, you can use my affiliate code, which is Caitlin Swatches. It will save you 10% on your purchase. And if you've already used it, thank you. And if you're planning to use it, thank you as well. So Monique spent most of her career in the beauty industry, and obviously she still is now, but she's now just her own boss, creating gorgeous nail polish for all of us. So the creams in this collection are inspired by her time in that industry. And I'm so excited because there's a topper. So it's five creams, one topper. I absolutely love the inspiration behind all of these polishes. The color story is gorgeous and the performance is unmatched. So I think we should just get into the polishes. I am going to be showing all of my swatches today over the Cirque Colors Get Ready Base, which is a fantastic base for cream polishes. The first color we're looking at is called Color Correction, and it's a pale mint green cream. And I do really love the inspiration behind this collection. Um, Monique specifically said it's kind of from the 2016 era of everybody watching YouTube makeup artists and everybody buying tons of makeup products that we did or didn't need for the first time and I remember learning a lot about color correction from a whole bunch of different YouTubers that I used to watch back then. So as you can see even in one coat it has fantastic coverage and beautifully self levels. This is honestly a fantastic formula and has incredible coverage for something so light. You will note that I will be capping my tips for these polishes, which is always a good practice when you wear creams. And I am also topping all of my swatches off with Cuticula Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat. It's a fantastic top coat in general, but it works really well for creams. It provides a very glossy finish and it just performs really well over top of these creams in particular. So here you can see in two coats plus top coat, this is literally flawless. And this is just a beautiful polish. It looks a little bluer in certain lighting and then in others it leans a little more greeny. That will depend on your skin tone, I'm sure. But this is just a fantastic minty shade. It's very light, but definitely far from a white, but just beautifully executed. Next up is Banana Powder, and this one is a pale butter yellow cream. You will probably know that pastel yellows and pastels in general can be problematic to apply, but these do not have any issues with the formula whatsoever. They have really great self-leveling properties and all of them are perfect in two coats. And when it comes to creams, especially light ones, I'm done with two, like two coats. If I have to go to three, I'm just out. So two coats is definitely all you're going to need with these polishes because they just perform so beautifully. You'll also know that they dry, wow, they also dry down quite shiny, but of course top coat is always recommended, especially with creams because you want them to stay shiny and last as long as possible.
And this one's pretty much always gonna look like a pale, buttery yellow in any lighting. But, you know, I'm just showing it off because that's what I do. Moving along, we have Liquid Blush, and this one is a blush pink Crelly. And now this one is the only one in the collection described as a Crelly, and you can definitely see already on application that it's definitely got a less creamy finish to it which definitely brings it into the Crelly, which is a cross between a cream and a jelly. It brings it into that territory, but you will note that it also performs beautifully, just like the other polishes, and it self-levels beautifully. And that Crelly formulation really makes this one extra special, in my opinion. It's so wearable, even though... I mean, I was, don't know why I'm saying even though. I was going to say, I guess even though it's a neutral because I don't tend to wear neutrals, um, it's still incredibly beautiful. And if you're into neutrals, then definitely pick this up because it performs beautifully and it looks fantastic. Yeah, this one looks really good on my skin tone. I will have to remember to wear it again soon because it is honestly so pretty. Here we have Twiggy Blue, and this is a pale powder cream blue, and this is so beautiful. I have always loved Twiggy as a fashion icon, and I still haven't mastered that cut crease that she always wore, but I'm happy to have this nail polish, and I love that Monique used her as inspiration for this blue because her blue eyeshadow was so iconic. And this just performs so beautifully. Um, you can see I kind of almost went on like a weird tangent with my application here, but even so, it's still self-leveled. And I'm just amazed by these polishes, honestly, the self-leveling properties. Guys, I'm so tired. I put out so many videos this month already, so my voiceover kind of sucks today. But anyway... The self-leveling properties of this polish are just out of out of bounds. I sound like Guy Fieri. I'm really losing it. But anyway, this is just beautiful. It's the perfect shade of blue. It doesn't look too chalky. And that's the other thing I love about these creams. They're not chalky. This definitely has a very retro look to it, but also timeless and modern. These are honestly beautiful creams and I know that maybe a lot of you already have pastel creams but these are just extra special because of the formula, because of the brush that Cracked Polish uses and just these exact shades hit so many marks for me. They're just beautiful. And I did want to do a quick comparison between Twiggy Blue and Sharing Denim Pockets, which is a cream from Cracked Polish's January collection. And you can see they're very different. Initially, I was like, oh no, another blue pastel cream, but they're very, very different. And here we have Lavender Jade. This one is a bright lilac cream. And this one's definitely the brightest in the collection but it's still very much a pastel honestly they all work so well could definitely do a skittle with the five shades and we will be looking at the topper very shortly 
but this one has almost a bleached neon quality to it that I really love. And again, you can see how it self levels even on one coat. It looks so good. And I will admit that this polish is such a throwback, especially because I have the inspiration photo for it. And Monique used an image from Temptalia's blog, and I think she's the blogger is actually wearing a MAC lipstick called Lavender Jade, which I have or had. I think I threw it out recently, but um, it just threw me back because I read the Temptalia blog like every single day from 2011 onward, and I think I dropped off around 2015, 16, but it was a bit of a throwback to see that. Anyway, this is beautiful, and this one also has a crelly-ish formula, I would say. This one and Liquid Blush are the closest formula-wise, and I just love the color payoff. Now I'm super excited to show you Mascara Flakes, which is a black micro flaky topper. Firstly, absolutely love the name because I love flaky, spidery mascara eyelashes. <laughs> but this is such a good topper. I absolutely love the size of the flakes and the distribution of them. You can go thinner or thicker if you want two coats. You can get even more in the nail, but this performs so beautifully and I will be doing a comparison with this topper and two other very popular black flake toppers. Now I will recommend and let you know that this topper for performs beautifully on its own, but it's still best to use a glossy top coat over it just to smooth everything out and maintain that gorgeous glossy finish. And here you can see it over all the colors with top coat. It looks so pretty. It's truly an amazing black flaky topper. I love the density of the flakes. I love the size. They're not too big and they're not too irregular. So first up, I'm going to compare mascara flakes on the left with Cirque colors spotted on the right. And I'm showing all of these over cracked polishes. Fool Me One Coat White, which just came out and is an incredible white cream. So what you will notice between these two is obviously the density, the size, and the Cirque Color Spotted Topper does dry very textured in comparison to mascara flakes this is now them with top coat again I'm going to compare mascara flakes on the left and on the right you're going to see hollow taco black flake taco that recently came out and this time I went with a very light hand with mascara flakes and you can see how delicate it can be depending on how much you load your brush up. And here you can see versus Hollow Taco. Hollow Taco has got larger flakes and similar density, I would say, but just more irregular flakes and larger flakes overall.
All right, so in terms of my favorites, the topper is definitely gonna be a favorite and it's pretty clear that it's my favorite black flake topper yet. The smoothest one and that comparison I found really helpful because initially you're just like, ah, they're all black flake toppers, which they are technically, but then when you actually see how they perform on the nail and actually show up, my favorite is the cracked polish. So that settles that. And um, in terms of the creams, I absolutely love Lavender Jade. I am just a sucker for that kind of color and I obviously love the way it performed. And I also love Twiggy Blue because I do love Twiggy and I love that shade of blue. It's so retro, but also timeless. So let me know in the comments what you think of these creams and the topper. Let me know if you're planning on picking up the collection or some of them. And um, also let me know if you tried the black and white creams that came out earlier this month. I'd love to hear what you think. Hopefully you love them as much as I did because they are phenomenal. Anyway, that's it for me. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.